With the recent update 2.5, it's easier than ever to generate a QR code. Now we can do it from within the program. We don't need any third party apps. I'm going to use Affinity Photo 2.5, but it's exactly the same in Designer and Publisher. So simply in your project, you will need to head to the left side to, to your tool panel on the left and then search for shapes. That's the one that holds all of the different shapes, the long one. You got all those different shapes here and at the very bottom, they just add QR code tool. If you cannot see it, be sure that we are updated to version 2.5. So grab this and then you can adjust the type of the QR code at the very top. So from here, I can change the type. By default is URL, Uniform Resource Locator, so simply a link, a website address. It's going to be simple text, phone number, SMS, email, WhatsApp, FaceTime, location, that's cool, Wi-Fi, so people can get your Wi-Fi, password, your Wi-Fi details, and V-card. All right, so most of us will use this as a link, and then we need to click clear. All right, so we got empty space to paste our link. So comment V, I already copy my link. Here it is. And I click OK. You can see the whole link at the top now. It's easier to confirm after you click OK because they show the whole link. Before you draw it, feel free to adjust the fill color. We can adjust this later as well, but let's just kick off the basic black. And now you can drag it to draw your QR code. At this point, I suggest you to grab your phone and try to scan it. Let's just double check that it's correct, right? Why not? Okay. And of course, after you draw it already, you can still adjust the color. Keep in mind, you need a decent contrast between a QR code and the backdrop. So if you're placing this in really busy space, so if you've got like some pictures behind, let me just drag and drop some picture. All right, so I just drag and drop an image and now our QR code is not very visible. So what can we do is we can, we can try to do the reverse one. So you're doing the white one on the dark backdrop. Nowadays, most phones can recognize that, but keep in mind, that's not the intended use. All right, but we can stick with the dark one, whatever dark color you like, everything similar to black will do. And then we can create additional shapes. So in that case, I like to go with the rounded rectangle tool. Hold shift for perfect square. You can adjust the corner radius. All right, so we can make this white, place it behind the QR code. So you got this safety net to be sure that QR code is really easy to scan. The second thing to remember is that it should be at least two centimeters high. Most phone can handle smaller QR codes, but that's kind of the official rule for this kind of technology, two centimeters high. All right. We can even make this a bit transparent if you like this. If you feel like this white thing behind the QR code is too strong, you can make it 80% opacity. It will still do the job. All right. So we very quickly placed our own custom QR code on our design in Affinity Photo. It's really easy with this brand new tool. Just explore your shapes list. It should be at the bottom. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Keep in mind, it's exactly the same in designer and publisher. I will see you in the next video.